Well, as you can see, just parked behind me is the new Nissan Leaf, and it's my first time driving the car properly at home on the roads I normally drive. Now, I'm starting today's test drive in Dublin, just off the M50, and I live in Belfast, for those of you who weren't sure about that. So far, I haven't been able to take an electric car and drive it non-stop from here to my front door. Is the Leaf the first car where I'm gonna be able to do that? Let's go find out. So, as I drive along on my little uh, one-hop experiment in the Leaf, let's talk a bit more about the car. It uh, definitely follows on in terms of styling from the previous Leaf. You'll recognise it as being a member of the same family, but it's very much more conventional looking. A couple of existing Leaf owners have commented to me already how much they prefer the styling of this car, the fact that it looks a bit less, well, let's not be unkind here, but a bit less weird. It's almost as if it's a totally normal hatchback and indeed that kind of is the the central pillar of how Nissan is trying to sell the car as its adverts say it has nothing left to prove it is now a car which you choose as you would choose any other car or at least that's certainly the hope that's certainly the ambition to drive it is perfectly pleasant um, the new electric motor which is much more powerful than the old one it has 150 horsepower now uh, pulls the car along very nicely motorway speeds are very comfortable in fact you find if you're driving it without using the cruise control you'll find yourself very easily drifting up over the speed limit when you're uh, when you're stropping along a main road or a dual carriage or a motorway like this uh, it is a very easy car to drive that's kind of in the nature of electric cars obviously no gears to worry about no no nothing really you just got one rotating part the e-pedal thing the thing that allows you to brake sharply as you lift off the throttle is mostly very good it's not as smooth as the one you get in the BMW i3 the similar system you get in the BMW and if you have to switch suddenly from using the e-pedal to actually getting on to the mechanical brakes as if in case in the case of someone stopping suddenly in front of you or slowing down sharply in front of you the reaction of the brake pedal feels very very odd it almost feels as if you're not getting any braking for about a tenth of a second or so um, it, it's an odd one you'll just have to get used to it I guess but it's it's not the most pleasant of sensations it's not an enthusiastic car to drive in the sense of having sharp steering or incredible cornering prowess nothing like that at all it's just very conventional which is obviously mostly part of Nissan's point the interior is generally very nice it's very well built considering that there is no engine noise to cover anything up there is not a single rattle or squeak in this cabin and that's not something we could have said about the old leaf space is good Comfort is only okay. These seats are a little bit of an unusual shape, I'm finding, and because there's no reach adjustment for the steering wheel, the driving position is very definitely compromised. But there's some recompense for that in the shape of a very good touchscreen and sat nav system, and these really quite nice mixture of digital and analog instruments here in the binnacle. Um, it's a pleasant cabin to be in. Now, the question is well, can the Nissan Leaf? prove itself because it does have something left to prove in spite of what the ad says it has to be able to prove that it can do inter-urban hops it has to be able to prove that it can do city to city driving without stopping off for a recharge let's see if we can do it So here I am, all parked up at home, charging again. Did I make it in one go? No, I didn't. Nearly, and it's partially down to the car, it's partially down to me. I got to about 40 kilometers from home. The car said it had 50 kilometers left in the battery and I just didn't quite trust it. And I pulled in, got a bit of quick charge, stuck about an extra 40 Ks into the battery and then got home with, surprise, surprise, 40 Ks left. It would have just about done it but I didn't quite have the guts to take it on I didn't want to run out of juice on that last stretch of motorway coming into the city I didn't want to have to make the embarrassing phone call to uh, to, to Nissan roadside assistance and say hello I've killed my battery and I'm not home yet so we're not quite there we're not quite at the point of easy interurban travel 
it's easier than it was. The old 30 kilowatt hour leaf, uh, the last generation one, the last of the last generation one, really, really struggled on that same journey. It really needed a lot of charging on the route. This one just needed a quick top up. So it's better. It's easier than it was. Still not quite there though.